the show must go on. Welcome to the Scottish edition of Wince. Um, Alwyn is ill, so uh, I'm filling in for him this month and I hope he gets better soon. Um, so very quickly, we'll just go through what's happening in the night sky this month and then we'll look at some of the images you guys have taken. This is Poe, Astro Dog, he's in one of my pictures. Um, so this month we have two meteor showers, the Drachnids, which won't be that strong a show. I think you're expected maybe 10 meteors an hour, but it's still you know worth looking out for. That is on the 8th of October. Then on the 21st and 22nd of October, we have the Honorage Meteor Show. That should be a far more exciting show because um, it's about 25 meteors an hour, which is still not, oh wow, but it's still worth looking out for. When we look at the moon, the new moon is in the early part of um, October, so I have in my calendar that it will be good to go out astro gazing from tomorrow through to the 16th of October. Um, Orion should be quite strong in the sky right now. The Milky Way will be quite dull. I know you Southerners get very excited about the Milky Way. Um, however, northern light season should be coming in now, so it's definitely worth getting a little bit excited when we get the alerts on our mobile phones about it. Um, so I think that's it for what's happening this month. When we look at the Wince tag, um, we're just going to do this live because it's more exciting that way. Um, so um, I've kind of just loaded up all the wince tags. I haven't really looked through them because I thought this might be quite fun to do live. Um, we've got this stunning wee time lapse from uh, One-Eyed Llama um, in Tromso. So um, yeah, um, one thing I actually like the most about it is this cloud just sort of appearing and disappearing out of nowhere. It's, it's really quite wonderful. Um, we have Ainsley Bennett wandering through a field full of poppies in that sort of lovely textured way that he can produce. Um, and uh, we always wonder what he's doing there with all the some, some images there. Um, I don't know what this is. Is this um, iridium? It's right down in the middle. It's very bright. It's moving. So I'm going to say iridium flare, but um, I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It's certainly, it doesn't look like a meteor. It's, it's, a, it's actually quite a funny thing to see in the sky. He's got another, another satellite, I think, coming over here too. But it's certainly very evocative. It's very nice. Um, I think we are in... That's just stunning. Um, and he's just got his thumbnail right in the perfect time as well. I mean, that's that's a solid effort. Um, and yeah, and it's getting bright there, but that 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 is class. Um, and there's another one I quite liked here. We've just uh, lost in the trees. I always find it really freaky being in forests at night. It, they're just so black, um, you know, and there's always sheep and deer and things like that. Um, but then if we go over, that's Instagram land, if we go over to Twitter land, then um, we've got this very peaceful and calm um, evocative image from um, Alistair Hamill. And um, this is absolutely stunning. Um, just, again, the, the mist um, has diffused the moon. Um, and it's just so evocative. I, I feel I always get too caught up in the technical and just wanting everything to be perfect because I've got to drive to get a little pollution. Um, you know, I don't ever go unless uh, I think it's going to be perfect. But this this is a, just a wonderful example of how when you've just got a good subject, um, sometimes just having, you know, hay, atmospheric haze and things like that just, just really makes it quite special. Um, Clever reflection and still night. It's um, it's not often you get you get water that still, so it's great when you do. Um, and again, just the the, the, the mist here, and uh, it's 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 quite special. Um, I don't know how far back to go here. This was taken on my birthday, um, and yeah, again, you can just imagine walking up that and getting your lens all fogged up. So that's quite beautiful. And, and then we've got a deep sky image here, um, which is the Eagle Nebula. 
and I know absolutely nothing about deep sky photography. Um, I want to try it and I'm always scared it's just gonna, gonna go and spend all my money on it. Um, and this one, this one is great because this for me is what astronomy is about, is just wandering around in the night and doing whatever you want and well done on you because it's awesome. Um, so yeah, do I, do I pick a winner out of these? Um, this one's stunning. And then I, I quite like I quite like the field of poppies, but I think I think I think we're going to go with um, uh, oh right uh, we're going to go with this which is Ronnie Lorenzo. Congratulations, you're this month's wince winner. Get in touch with Alvin Wallace for your generous cash prize. Um, I think for um, for this month. Um, I'm always one for creativity and why don't we do um, whoever does the best astro get well soon um, photo. So get a laser pointer and, 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 and write things or join up, uh, join up stars to make a constellation or commission a giant neon sign that'll be very expensive and take over a month to make. Um, whatever it is, just creative fun, but uh, let's have a um, wish Alwyn um, well wins uh, category this month. Uh, thank you very much for your time.